Hey guys, welcome to my another video where today we're going to be doing pets. You guys haven't even seen my birds yet, so here they are. These are my button quail. Someone is trying to escape and probably is, I don't know who is escaping. Pachito, be nice. Sorry, we only have birds. No, and I think that was, who was that? That was, so Kat and Nala look alike. They're mostly like twin sisters. Um, I can tell this is Kat and that is Nala. They're all pecking out my finger because they know I have worms. I have the worm bag with me and they're like, Mom, feed us some worms. I mostly like the mama bird in this house. So, yep, and the ones that are in trouble is Moondrop and Casper, who is just begging for something. I don't know what he's doing. But I'm going to give you guys a couple um, good tips to own the pet quail. So I got um, pet quail during uh, COVID became in town. I was just bored, so I was like, okay, well, what do you do if you have a pet bird? Actually, these guys, you can easily train them if you have anything that has what they like. So foods that quails like for grubs, um, they love mealworms, crickets, ants, and moths. You might have one quail that can do couch ants, and we have one of those quail, and it's definitely cat. She hunts for ants, crazy. So, because we have her, they also like to hunt. They can easily hunt for mosquitoes too. If you live in the Florida Keys, so yeah. Oh, and there's quail tug of war going on in the background. Or is that? Hey, guys, stop. Here we go. I don't know if that was tug of war. I don't know if that was my. Way I stopped it. So, um, are my quail trained? Yes. Some of them are trained to go onto my shoulder, and it does take time for your birds to get trained. No one just is taking that, just pick that up. Um, yeah, some are trained, some are not trained. You gotta know, you can't train a male quail because they're very hard to train. Quails instantly like for food. Um, they love millets. Um, it is really good. Do not give them any. She just escaped any um, sugary bird seeds because they are full of sugar in it. Um, if quail, quails also lay their own eggs with um, mating, but the females later the females always lays eggs because they're always girls. Um, so. Inside the quail eggs is just yolk. They also eat their own yolk, so that's a good thing. I normally crack up their yolk a lot in their food bowl. Before you have a quail, um, yeah, some of the quails like to play with toys. I never had birds that have played with toys before, but they're, you probably can see some of them are beat up from mating. So yeah, um, I can say all the names to you because one of them trying to escape. So here we have it. I'm going to say the names. Hey buddy, it's okay, it's okay. Come on, come sneak on down. Okay, I don't know if he's saying the Oreo. Yeah, um, Oreo's actually a male and he is very nice. I can easily pet him. He does not fight like the other quail. Like, he doesn't even fight like the other male. Spachito fights because he doesn't want to be touched. Spachito's the one who's in the corner. Um, Mama is the one who just wants me warm. She's just she looks similar like Sundrop. Sundrop is in the bathtub. So oh yeah. So um, about Sundrop and Moondrop, they're named after the Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach game. I really want to play it, but I don't have a computer. I have an iPad and a Nintendo Switch. But me and my sister share a lot. So I'm wishing it for it to be on the Nintendo Switch. Also, I'm sponsoring this by who's giving me these mealworms a lot. Uncle Jim's Mealworm Farm, thank you for giving me these uh, mealworms. So I'm just sponsoring you. Hi, lunch is ready. Okay, sorry, that was my mom talking in the background. Um, my mom used to own birds when she was younger. I'm just saying that for a fun fact. Okay, so these quails love to eat white rice. Um, bell pepper seeds, um, pasta, but I, I tried it with these guys, they don't like it, it's on a different type of what they like, normal, it's just millets, um, I'm about to repeat myself a couple times, also I have autism, just to say I'm out to let you guys know, um, with these birds I've been mean, with, they love watermelon, they're uber in love with watermelon and cucumbers, 
Um, yeah, they also love strawberries too. That is also new for quails. Um, so I got these quails somewhere, but I don't want to say the place. But I do take good care of the injured quails. Um, I used to have loads of quails in the past. I used to have up to like probably 10 or 12 quails up in the past. For this, we have, I always count up the eggs. So the eggs I had in the past were like about like 50 eggs, but I think we're account for this year probably would be like 70. I'm counting the eggs in my head. So let's see if someone could do a trick. There you go. And that was Mama who just jumped on my hand. Um so yeah, uh I do have fun facts I know. So predators and prey, let's talk about these. Let's talk about this. Always before you get a button quail like, put these things right. I forgot. Is it called chicken wire? Yes, it's definitely called chicken wire. Chicken wire in your cage. We done. We didn't do this before. This slit was from a raccoon. Um, we have raccoons where we live, so. See, done it with the top. The top cage. I just made houses for them if they feel comfortable to lay in it. Um, this is a hospital cage. If you have males that are fighting, I rather you get them separate cages. Um, so this is a rabbit hutch. You can get this off of Amazon Prime. You can get this cage out like PetSmart. Same thing as this cage. This cage was a hamster cage. Now it's a quail cage. You can get these at PetSmart. Uh, there's our cages too. I have travel cages for the quails. That cage, way in the distance. Um, travel cage. You can get that at PetSmart too. Um, you can get anything at PetSmart. I got the mirrors there. But most of these things I made as toys because there's some quails that likes to pull these down, like Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> um, for some reason, sorry, when my hands are in the way. Oh, dang it. <laughs> this cat just fell. Oh, hold on, let me put this up. Um, the male quail sometimes like to play with this. I just like to make my own toys so they see whoever. They play with that, those jingle pills over there, they play with them. I also make a sculpture for them, but I have pooped on it. So they must have pooped on it and they claimed it as their own. Um, yeah, hold on, I need to show you some injuries, what happened to Oreo. Okay, so we learned our lesson. Um, you can learn mistakes from these birds easily. They fly about 40 miles per hour. I have quills that fly over by seven roofs. Um, so this is Oreo. I'm going to show him this is what happens if he gets beaten up by the air males. No feathers. That is crazy and he's crazy in pain from it so um if ever a quail gets injured or hurt get emu oil and put it on your quail but at like the wound spots and always be gentle with it thank you buddy for being so nice today um so sun drop i you can easily put coconut oils on quail um it's easy to put on it just only put it on their wounds they can eat they can eat coconut oil just not too much of it also, animals like in the house of coconut oil, they're like, oh boy, we all love them, they'll need coconut oil. Um, so yeah, I kind of have some facts in my head. If you guys want in the comments, you can ask me different questions. I did have a quail before that actually sprained its wing. I know how to splint it pretty well, just use tissue to splint the wing because these wings are very fragile. I seen, I deal with quails that had. Um, broken um, legs and foot before. I know how to pop the bone back in easily. I am like the quail doctor in this house. I know what to do with these birds and I listen to them a lot. Um, also check under water a lot because their water easily get dirty so I clean them every single day. Also and re-clean your cage. So like I cleaned my cage in July when it hits to um, August, I had to re-clean the whole entire cage again because, okay, when the quails are out like running around your porch or your lanai, you will want um, the, you will want to Clorox your cage because these quails can easily get diseases. I might have to end this video right now because my mom just wants me to eat lunch. So please like, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell at all times. The quails said hi to YouTube and they hope you see them on their next video so goodbye